COVID-19 pandemic is still ongoing until now. More than 4.26 million positive patients have been infected, with the death toll reaching more than 144,000 of people. Even though vaccines have been produced, awareness against the virus might still be increased. One of the essential things to implement during this pandemic is a healthy and clean lifestyle, including washing hands to prevent the spread of germs and bacteria. Here, hand sanitizer can be used as an alternative to clean our hands. However, the frequent usage of hand sanitizers can cause skin irritation due to their alcohol content. Kesalpinia sapan L, known as a changwood, contains antioxidants and various secondary metabolites that have a role in antimicrobial properties. Another plant with good antimicrobial and antiviral activity and has been widely used is Cassia alata L, which we know as Ketepeng China. The flavonoid content in these two plants is widely reported as the primary active substance as antiviral. The presence of flavonoid and alkaloid content in Cassia pinea L and Cassia alata L allowed optimal antimicrobial activity when formulated together. Therefore, we conduct this research as an effort to find antimicrobial products that have the potential and safe to be used as hand sanitizer. As intervention to reduce COVID-19 infection cases by using local biological the obtained results based on the first test. The Changwood with a concentration of 25% has the most colonies. On the concentration of 50%, there are quite many colonies. There's little colony for the concentration of 75%, and last, there's no sin colonies for the concentration of 100%. Then, for Katapangcina leaves, all concentrations have sin colonies. From this, we can find out that the killing power of Staphylococcus aureus is in Castlevania sapan extract with a concentration of 100%, while the inhibiting power is in Castlevania sapan with concentration of 75%. Furthermore, the following are the results obtained based on the second test. The combined extract between Sechangwood and Katepeng China leaf with a ratio of 1 to 1 and 1 to 2 had the same visible amount of colonies. Then, the combined extract with the 2 to 1 ratio had fewer visible colonies. This proof that the combat extract can kill the colonies of the product. Conclusion From the test results that have been done in the laboratory, it can be concluded First, the decocto method for hand sanitizing liquid is quite simple by teaming the extraction material with aqua dust into stack pan at 90 degrees Celsius 
for 30 minutes. And then second, Castlevania Sapan's extract with concentration 100% has the potential to be used as antimicrobial product because it can kill the growth of Staphylococcus aureus colonies. Third, from the combined extract test of the two plants, no synergistic composition was found in killing the growth of Staphylococcus aureus colonies. Fourth, from organoleptic tests conducted by 20 participants on Cairo hand sanitizer products, it can be concluded that the color, smell, texture, and consistency of Cairo products are rated really good with the average value of Likert scale greater than 4 by participants. And it can be suggested that Caesalpinia Sapan L with the concentration of 100% is an alternative to hand sanitizer with safe and natural ingredients. So, it can be recommended as an intervention to reduce COVID-19 infection cases. Suggestion Here are some suggestions from the researchers that can be implemented in the future. The first one is to find another extraction method that is as easy as the cup method but produces an extract with longer shelf life. Second, further research is needed regarding the effectiveness of antimicrobial activity of Caesalpinia sapan L with the concentration of 100% to another types of bacteria. Third, to find another plants with antimicrobial activities to be used with Caesalpinia sapan L as a hand sanitizer. That's all we can say. We apologize if there are any wrong words in the delivery. Don't, Don't forget, forget to support us in the final Abispo 2022. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.